Agriculture is a $7 billion industry in Mississippi, but supply chain issues, the weather, they're all combining to put a strain on some farmers this year. Joining us live to let us know where things stand is State Agriculture Commissioner Andy Gibson. Commissioner, thank you for joining us live on WTVA 9 News at noon. Yeah, we, we've been talking drought or our meteorologists have been talking drought for it seems like quite a while. What are you hearing from farmers? Is this a statewide deal? Is this North Mississippi what? Well, thank you for having me first, Craig. And I want to say it's uh, it's been a dry year, especially in North Mississippi. There have been parts of the state where we've had some dry spells as well. I've talked to a lot of uh, cattle producers who have been, you know, having to sell uh, calves, cows because of the lack of grass. And then in our row crops, uh, you know, we have dry land row crops. Those have really suffered in North Mississippi. But uh, irrigated crops, they've been pumping the water. And thank the Lord for that. Uh, deep uh, resource of underground water in the aquifers under Mississippi. It's uh, all, all in all, it's been a it's been a dry year, but compared to the rest of the country, uh, Mississippi is uh, not not perhaps quite as bad off as say folks in Texas, where I hear the the horror stories of what's going on out west. Of course, we talk Mississippi. We talk about catfish. How how are, how are catfish producers doing these days? You know, our catfish farmers are number one in the nation. We produce more uh, U.S. farm-raised catfish in Mississippi than anywhere else, and the demand is still very strong. They're dealing, like all of our farmers are, with very high input cost, uh, the, the uh, fuel cost, all everything sky high, everything high for consumers. It's especially high for farmers. So, uh, you know, thankful for every farmer who's still farming. Keep it up. Only 1% of our population is still farming, so we're thankful every day we have a meal. Thank a farmer. By the way, we've got a wild hog program, and, and we were talking before we came on the air. People in downtown Tupelo may not know about the issue with wild hogs, but if you live in rural Mississippi, it can be a problem. What, what, t talk to us a little bit about that program. Well, we've got a statewide program that we're helping farmers uh, catch the hogs. You know, uh, these hogs are in every county. Every year they destroy about $60 million worth of crops. And so we, our staff will deliver a trap, teach the farmer how to run it, and the farmers are catching hogs all over Mississippi. We're having what I call a good old-fashioned hog killing by the tens of thousands. I want to hit 100,000 and a million. They are so destructive and good for nothing. And I appreciate all the farmers helping catch them and to keep our farmland uh, growing our crops in this state. And before we wrap up, I know you wanted to address local farmers markets. That's right, you know, this is a really a peak opportunity for folks to visit the farmers markets. You've got a great set of farmers markets in North Mississippi. Uh, visit uh, our website, www.msfarmersmarket.com. Find a farmers market near you and uh, buy local, support your local farmers and. A lot of folks are canning this year, putting up for the winter. I think it's a great idea, and I encourage everybody to buy from your local farmers there. Commissioner, thank you for joining us live on WTVA 9 News at noon. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. All right.